Hey there. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the B2B components that are available to you from the Evolve plan onwards. The B2B components offer you the opportunity to equip your store with the most important B2B functions. And the B2B components also offer store customers who have been authorized accordingly by the store operator a variety of functions to map their own company structure. These include roles and contacts, so sub accounts for the customers or employees, orders including the approval process as well as order lists and individual order numbers. So with the Evolve plan you have these four features at your disposal. Extended rights and role management, also called employee management. The approval process, or the order approval, the quote management, and the quick order procedure, so the quick order. You will find these options as followed. Just open your customers, go into the overview, open a customer and click on edit. Then scroll right down and then you've got the section B2B components. I have activated mine previously, but these are the four features which you get with the Evolve plan. Before I show you these features in the storefront, here is a little overview. So let's start with the quick order. With the quick order procedure, your customers can add orders um, to the shopping cart or an order list more quickly. All they need to do is to enter a product number and quantity and this is possible either directly via a simple input mask or by importing a file. The employee management, so with the extended rights and role management, you have the option of assigning and managing rights and roles with the B2B functions. The quote management enables smooth quote management on both sides. So create quotes and send them to your customers or accept and reject quotes that have been sent to you. And then we've got the order approval. So specify in the admin which users should be able to approve or reject orders in the storefront. Your B2B customers can define their own approval rules for roles. So once you have activated these functions for a user in the admin, click on save and then they are activated in their account in the storefront. So let's have a look how the whole thing looks like in the store. Now we are here in the customer's account and you can directly see on the left hand side in the overview that our currently activated functions are already in the list. So here we have employees, quick orders, quotes and approval rules. Let's start with the employees. You can invite a new employee to the company by clicking on create account. For this purpose, the first name, last name and email address must be entered. The role is optional. In the overview, you can check the status. This is this row here of yeah, each employee. After the invitation has been accepted within two hours, the employee is part of the organization. Via the three points, you can deactivate it if necessary, or you can edit, resend the invitation or revoke the invitation. Then let's go to the quick orders. So to speed up the general ordering process, you can search for products by name or number. So if you just start typing in, yeah, a part of the order number, you can see in the drop down menu that you get a list of the products. So in our case, let's, for example, just take the main product. After that, it's necessary to enter yeah, the quantity. Standard wise, the quantity one is set, but if you want to order more, obviously just click on the plus button. You can yeah, uh, delete it again and try the thing with the name. This works fine as well. So after setting the quantity, you can just click on add to shopping cart. Yeah, to add the product to the cart. 
If you want to, you can also clear the list again with this button or you can upload a yeah, quick order file. So next, to show you the quote management, I will have to add a product to the shopping cart. Um, for this, I will just use our quick order function. So let's take the main product again, quantity one, and then just click on add to shopping cart. So as you can see, we've got the request quote button in our off canvas shopping cart. Um, yeah, note that this button is also available in the main shopping cart if you go there. Um, but I will we'll just click on this button from our off canvas shopping cart and then this section opens. So as a logged in B2B customers, you have the option to request a specific price for the item in the shopping cart. So to send a quote request to the dealer, just click on yeah, request a quote and then click on send request. If you would like to add a specific comment, you can write this into the comment field. So in the next step, you will see all your yeah, quotations or quotation requests in your customer account under quotes. So let's just create a request. And then you can see in the overview that our request, yeah, was added with this specific date and time. At the moment, you see the status open for both my requests, but in total, there are yeah, five statuses. So we've got open, in progress, accepted, rejected, answered, and expired. So if the admin, yeah, from the admin side accepts your request, you will see a green accepted status on the right hand side or a red expired, um, rejected status, and so on. To show you how you can edit these quotes, um, I have just switched to the administration again. Um, for the request or to edit the request, just open the respective customer, um, go to the tab transactions and scroll right down. So here you have the quotes section. Um, to open a quote, just click on the context menu and then you get to the yeah, general re uh, request from the customer. It's possible to set an expiry date. Just click on the calendar here to use the yeah quick function. Um, and then the main thing is to set the discount. So either you can use an absolute discount or an relative discount. Um, I'll just set 50 pound for this as an example. So click on save and then click on send quote if you are yeah happy with your um, request answer. So just click here then and then it's possible to add yeah a message to the customer. You can attach documents and here again is an overview. So if you are happy with this just click on send or so you have to set an expiry date, of course, and then click on send. So this request has been answered now. So let's switch to the storefront again. So to sum the quote management up, you can now see that your status has changed. You've got the replied instead of the open. And now you can yeah, view the details by clicking on the context menu. Here you've got the details and the cart summary. Here's the discount. So our yeah discount of £50. Um, this is the overview of our items. If the administrator had yeah um, imported some or added documents, you could then download them with this button. Um, otherwise, these buttons are the important ones. So you can either decline the request you can, yeah, again, request changes um, or you can place the order finally. So clicking this button would just take you to the checkout. 
Now we come to the last feature, our approval rules. So to show you the approval rules feature, um, it's necessary that you create a role beforehand. So just go to the roles and click on create role. Start by giving the role a name. I'll just use demo. If you want to, you can set the role def uh, or you can um, say that this is a default role for new employees. And then you've got the permissions down here. For the approval rule management, it's necessary that you set all the permissions. So just click on this top one then. Um, yeah, obviously you can check all the others or just some of the other um, permissions and then click on save. Then go to the approval rules again. Here, click on create rule and then, yeah, give the rule a name again. I'll just call it demo. Um, yeah, applies to means that this section just, um, yeah, this is currently still all orders. So the rule applies to all orders. Um, give order approval. This means that here you can select the role that can accept the approvals, for example, managing director. Um, so you can use demo for this and needs order approval just means that you select the role that requires approval, for example, trainees. Um, yeah, let's use test for this. Down here, um, yeah, you can set the priority. Um, I'll just set 100. Um, this is the highest. So yeah, if you are happy, just click on save. And now you have created a new rule for the role demo. So the whole thing becomes visible if you have assigned the role to an employee and you select the role when you create a new employee account um, in the employees tab. So here you've got the drop down menu for the roles. The main B2B account is then shown this yeah, approval and has the option of accepting or rejecting it.